Magandang araw! I am Gardinera and for today, pag-uusapan natin paano nga ba mag-start ng inyong sariling jardin sa inyong pamamahay. Nagsistart na ba kayo ng gardening? O kaya si mommy or daddy, mahilig din ba sila sa pag -hardin? Or better yet, baka sila lolo and lola ang mahilig sa pag -hardin? Kasi mostly po talaga sa atin ay naiimpluwensyahan tayo ni Lalolo and Lola hanggang sa mag-pass down na po siya. So, pag-uusapan natin paano nga ba magsimula ng inyong hardin at ano nga ba ang different strategies and techniques sa pag -hardin? Plus, ano nga ba ang essential nito, essential ng gardening sa ating physical and mental health? May benefits nga ba tayong makukuha sa pag -hardin? And lastly, we should learn how to cultivate ourselves with an environmental awareness. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon, hindi lamang sa isang bansa, kung hindi sa buong mundo, merong mga iba't ibang hindi inaasahan na trahedya na connecting ito sa climate change. So, bago tayo magtungo doon, simulan muna po natin ang pinaka-basic. Paano nga ba mag-start ng sariling hardin? Ano nga ba ang mga simple reminders kung paano tayo nagsisimula? So, Beginner's Guide on How to Create a Vegetable Garden in Dubai. There are five essential steps on how to start your own garden. One is choose the right vegetable and herbs that are suited with the weather. I will explain further on dahil ang vegetable and herbs requires at least six to eight hours of direct sunlight. Next is Pick the best area where the plants can be placed. It depends upon your area. If you have a bigger, big area at home, maybe you have your own backyard, you can have your garden outdoors. Or if you have a smaller backyard, you can have it on your balcony. So we can talk about that later on. Next is we have to prepare the proper soil mixture because every plants, every vegetables and herbs uh, they needed the proper soil mixture when it comes to gardening kasi uh, they needed the right uh, health and they needed the right fertilizers for them to grow healthier. Next is we have to invest in basic gardening tools. So we'll be talking about that kasi if we continue on gardening, we need to learn on uh, what are the basic tools that can be used. It's just not... Uh, like using your own hands. There are, there are different tools for gardening, which is very helpful when uh, on the longer process of gardening. Next is know the basic needs and maintenance for a healthy garden. As I said, if we're going to do this for a lo very long time, we need to uh, require our, ourselves to be knowledgeable on how to uh, maintain our own healthy garden. So number one, Choose the right vegetable and herbs that are suited with the weather. So, mostly all vegetable and herbs, uh, they require at least six to eight hours of direct sunlight. But it depends on how hot is the temperature is. So, here in the Philippines, at least all of the vegetable and herbs are okay with the weather. Most especially if it's uh, summer they can survive. But some are hindi nila kaya survive. It depends upon the heat. So, uh, we have to be careful on which vegetable can survive a hot weather uh, in a Dubai setup. So, there are different examples. So, we have tomato. Uh, tomato is very easy to take care of. Uh, all of them actually, tomato, carrot, potato, uh, they require at least six to eight hours of direct sunlight. For basil, it is a example of a herb. So they only require at least four to six hours of direct sunlight. Uh, yung mga leafy greens natin, no herbs, uh, four to six hours lang siya. Hindi niya kaya yung uh, six to eight hours na direct sunlight, unlike yung mga fruit-bearing vegetables natin, like yung tomato, carrot, potato, so uh, yun, magkaiba siya. But all of these can, su can survive in a Dubai setup and there are a lot of uh, vegetables and herbs that you can choose from. So, uh, for example, uh, you can put your vegetables if 
ang setup natin ay balcony area lang. Pwede natin siyang itapat for the requirement hours na kailangan niyang nakatapat. Then at the same time, ibabalik na natin siya sa shaded area. Kasi pag masyado siyang nakatapat, even though you water them every day, magda-dry pa rin yung leaves niya. Uh, magda-dry yung leaves niya, tapos uh, magda-dry din yung soil niya. So, hindi na, hindi na nagiging balance nung no, kinakailangan na nutrients ng ating plant. So, everything in gardening must be all balanced para maproduce natin yung mga healthy uh, fruits nila or vegetables nila. So, very important key reminder, it, it, it always needs to be balanced. Next is, pick the best area where the plants can be placed. So, uh, with number two, it depends upon the area. If you have a bigger house, maybe you have uh, you have your own backyard, it's better if you plant them there. So, if you're wondering, paano yun, no, yung backyard ko, uh, wala siyang cover. You can uh, use uh, nets kasi, syempre, they cannot survive if maglalagpas tayo ng eight hours from morning to afternoon. So, that's too much for them. You can put nets to protect them on a uh, heated weather. Uh, but if you have uh, small spaces, like you, you only have your balcony, uh, you can also you can also plant there, kahit maliit lang siya. Honestly, I have a small garden. I only have a balcony, but I produce uh, a lot of vegetables and herbs, and I weekly or every what every two weeks I can harvest it and uh, anytime. So they can survive even if you have a small area at home. Even if kung wala kang balcony, you can oh, you can just uh, you need to find space. For example, yung malapit sa window, herbs can grow there. But vegetables, as long as may space siya doon at tatapatan ng araw, it can grow. So, yun. What to consider when you are uh, finding your own place on where to, to plant your vegetables and herbs? So, as I've said, find the sunspot. So, it does not depend on how big or small your place is as long as there is a sunspot tutubo siya <laughs> and next is pick the relatively flat spot so what i mean in in this uh sentence uh this is for the houses that have big bigger area so very important na flat lang dapat yung ating pagtataniman kasi once you water them or masyadong windy uh Kung mataas yung lupa niya, babaksak lang din siya, magpuputik siya, at masisira lang din yung halaman. So, very important na ang pagtatanangan natin ay flat area lang siya. So, as you can see sa picture, flat area lang siya at pantay-pantay din siya. So, lastly is put the garden where you can ignore its peace and poor attention. So, uh, very normal kung... Uh, maraming mga different insects or bugs or na dumadalo sa ating garden. So, they we have uh, pesticides for that. So, uh, one example that I used is neem oil. And neem oil is very effective. I have, I didn't include it in my PowerPoint presentation, but neem oil is very effective. As I've said, uh, you can use it uh, every other day. So, neem oil is... Uh, uh, pesticide siya, most especially when it comes to um, uh, aphids. So, aphids yan mostly ang pinaka insecto lagi na nakikita natin sa ating gula. Ito yung mga white, na mali, white na white, uh, parang siyang maliit lang siya na circle na white. So, ayun, aphids siya. So, ayun, madalas kumakain sa ating mga vegetables and mga herbs. At the same time, meron din hindi ko rin in-expect is ma marami is mga birds. So, kumakain din sila ng mga leafy greens. Ayun yung mga paborito nila. And, very common, syempre, yung mga caterpillars na nakikita natin. So, one effective that you can use is the neem oil and apply it uh, every other day. Next is, number three is prepare the proper soil mixture. So, preparing the proper soil mixture is very important. 
uh, most especially kung vegetable or herbs ang ating itatanim. Kasi if it's just indoor or outdoor plants, you can just use garden soil without any mixture at all because they do not require that uh, much of nutrients because they do not bear their own fruit. So uh, going back, we have to, to provide them the proper soil mixture. It's just not uh, garden soil. We have to mix them of other kinds of soil that will benefit our vegetable. So before I give you some examples of it, I'll be explaining why is it important. So it helps them grow and develop in ideal growth condition. So these soil, they provide um, health benefits, not just with the plant itself, but all the parts of the plant, the roots, the, the stem, the leaves, and even the fruit itself that they bear. So, uh, so meron tayong sunlight, meron tayong water, at the same time, kinakailangan din nila ng balanced nutrients. So sabi ko nga kanina, dapat lahat balanced po. So next is provides better aeration around the roots. So if you if you only have if you only use garden soil, yung garden soil po kasi ito yung mabigat at makapal when you ito yung mga mostly na nakikita natin na lupa for example yung mga outdoor sa mall, sa supermarket, yung mga uh, landscaping design sa labas ng mga bahay or uh, any any building. So ayun na mostly na ginagamit nila uh ayun yung madas na ginagamit nila. So, yun kasi, yun, as I've said, they do not require the nutrients compared to the vegetable and herbs. So, uh, meaning with the soil is there are soil that provides aeration around the roots. So, what is the meaning of this? When it comes to aeration, ito yung pag nasa soil, tapos yung soil na mixture natin is meron siya mga open spaces wherein Nung pag dumaloy ang hangin, pababa ng lupa, ay mas makakababa ang hangin nito. Uh, naaabot hanggang root. So, there are soils na meron, nagbibigay sila ng enough spaces for that. But compared to other soil, like garden soil, masyado lang siyang stuck up. Hindi siya, ano, hindi siya talaga, uh, wala siya yung small spaces na pwedeng dumaloy yung hangin sa baba. Iba siya. Kasi pag once na diniligan mo siya, maputik siya, tapos mas Makikitik pa siya. So, uh, I, uh, I don't know if you get me, pero uh, you can compare it when uh, you see a garden soil outside of a uh, of, uh, mall. You can see na brownish siya tapos nagpuputek. So, mas sumisikip siya, mas, mas close siya compared to if you use a different type of soil. Once na diniligan mo siya, hindi siya magpuputek. Pag diniligan mo siya, bababa diretso yung water. Dahil nga, meron siyang mga open spaces wherein they can absorb absorb the water more at the same time where the uh, air can go uh, from your plant going to its roots. Next is, add as an organic fertilizer. So, there are different types of soil or amendments that you can use that uh, has organic uh, materials in it. So, meron siya yung iba't ibang klase ng lupa na may iba't ibang halo din ng mga organic materials. So, I'll be showing you some examples of it. So, we have vermicast. Uh, vermicast is made up of uh, actually most of the byproduct of vermicast came from Worms. And alam ko sa inyo, pag may nakakita ng ano, mostly, kasi ako rin naman, ganun ako noon na pag nakakita ka ng uod, yak! Iyo ko na yan. So, uh, you know what? These worms help a great deal of our plants. Ito yung tinatawag natin, ano eh, uh, parang they, they are made to make our soil healthier. They make them healthier. So, pag nakita nyo yung halaman nyo, for example, nag-repot kayo or may nakita kayo na lumabas na uod sa sa inyong halaman, ibig sabihin ng healthy ang halaman nyo. Kasi kini-cleanse ng worms yung uh, yung soil nyo. Actually, yung byproduct ng cleansing ng ng soil na nagaling sa worms, ang ta ayun ang uh, equivalent ng vermicast. 
So, yun yung byproducts na mga nagagawa ng worms. So, next is uh, CRH or car carbonized rice hull. So, itong carbonized rice hull, galing lang siya sa bigas na uh, yun. Hindi naman natin siya actually sinusunog, pero slightly burned siya. Uh, marami nga dito sa atin na uh, ang ginagamit ng pandilig ay uh, napaghugasan ng bigas kasi uh, they believe actually it is proven na meron siya mga nutrients like calcium na nagpo-contain na makaka-benefit sa ating halaman. So maganda rin gamitin itong carbonized rice hull. Next is coco peat. So ang coco peat, uh, galing siya sa coconut. Coconut, uh, I forgot the term eh, pero ito yung husk ba yun? Yung labas ng coconut, yung, yung brown part, once na nag-dry na siya. So, ito siya na dinurugurog. So, hindi, itong coco peat, I like this because hindi lamang siya magagamit once. So, ayun nga, parang ang coconut niya, ang dami pwede paggamitan. So, it is also an environmental uh, friendly um, that you can reuse or recycle. So, coco peat is also uh, good for your soul because itong coco peat, there are different types of coco peat kasi, but this one on this picture, uh, masyado siyang mush. So, ito, mas, uh, ang kayang ibigay ng coco peat is hindi madaling manuno ng ating halaman. So, pag biniligan mo siya, hindi siya yung, siya yung taga dry. Hindi katulad nung pag ibak sa pag biniligan mo, basang-basa yung lupa na nalulunod na siya, na kahit diligan mo pa siya sa susunod, basa pa rin siya. So, pag ganun, uh, very important iwasan natin yun na masyadong basa or wet, moist ang ating halaman kasi it would lead to root rot. So, ang root rot, ito yung pagbubulok ng, ala, ng, ng ating ugat due to overwatering. So, ito ang coco peat, uh, nakakatulong siya para ma-prevent yun. Last is uh, chicken manure fertilizer. So, uh, there are different kinds of manure fertilizer that you can use, but ito yung madalas na ginagamit na ating farmers or mga urban agriculturists like me. So, minimix natin siya and it is also better for the improvement of uh, our vegetables, eh, vegetable and herbs health. So, let's move on. Next is invest in basic gardening tools. So, if you are going to start your own garden, it is uh, very important, lalo na kung magtatagal tayo sa gardening, invest in basic gardening tools kasi mahihirapan ka at magtumagal ka sa pag-hardin. Kinakailangan mo ng proper tools for that. It's not just your hands alone or plastic spoons or fork kasi your plants will be uh, bigger at, at any time soon. So, hindi lang, hindi lang siya pwedeng gano'n. So, important din na uh, mag-invest tayo sa mga gardening tools and it will also help you lalo na sa inyong health kasi there are cases nga na ano eh na some that i read is hindi sila nag-invest sa mga gardening tools and they only use hands and yung hands uh yung hands niya kasi is may open wound siya and knowing that our soil even though it's very healthy um, syempre punong-puno rin siya ng bacteria and it can go inside your open wound that can also lead to severe cases. So, going back, so that's why I told you, you should invest in basic gardening tools. So, uh, some examples are, as I've said, gardening gloves. It is very important to, to use our gardening gloves. Uh, actually, ito yung pinaka una ko in-invest in done kasi uh, para rin siyempre clean din tayo at the same time pagkatapos ng gardening, hindi ka na yung mag- uh, siyempre maghuhugas ka pa rin pero hindi na yung ganun ka messy unlike na pag naka-garden yung gloves ka. Next is trowel. So, ito yung parang spatula na nakita nyo. Meron tong bigger and smaller version. Later on sa demonstration ko, meron akong smaller version nito for smaller plants or you can use it uh, sa mga succulents nyo you use smaller tools like this. Actually, all of these have a smaller version of it. Next is rake. So, very important uh, itong rake kasi ito yung, itong trowel kasi hindi siya yung makakadig pa. Lalo na po, masyado na matigas yung soil natin sa uh, sobrang init. So, kailangan pa niya magdig pa. So, itong rake makakatulong siya sa mga hard soils. Lalo na kung may naka, uh, 
nakaharang na bako or what. So, uh, helpful siya. And last one is the secateur. So, ito, uh, ito ginagamit natin for cutting the old leaves or kaya pag nagtitrim tayo or pag nagaano tayo na nag uh, mag ano tayo mag uh, what do you call this one? Sorry. Uh, if we are going to produce another plant kung paparamihin natin siya so we will just cut it and we can just uh, plant it in another pot or para lang mapadami siya. So, very useful to. Kasi, syempre, uh, mas safe to and compared sa ibang klase ng scissors. So, yun. Okay. Uh, last one is, know the basic needs and maintenance for a healthy garden. So, ito, very important to kasi kailangan natin malamat kung paano nga ba ma-maintain ang healthy garden. Lalo na kung magtatagal tayo sa gardening. So, five things plants need. There are five things and five uh, things to remember. Okay, next. Uh, first one is light. As I said, mahilig sila sa araw. Uh, plants use light energy to make a type of sugar called glucose. They, are, they use glucose as their energy source. So, uh, actually, may experience ako dito. I tried na meron akong direct sunlight at indirect sunlight. So, makikita mo na pareho silang healthy, pero dun sa naka-direct sunlight, mas nauna siya nag-bear ng fruit compared dun sa indirect sunlight. Hindi kasi na-provide yung proper energy for them to produce their own fruit. That's why it's very important na na naka-direct sunlight siya for at least 6 to 8 hours. It depends upon the requirement of the plant. Next is the air. Plants need oxygen to respire, wherein it processes the breaking down molecules like glucose for energy. So, like uh, light, it also uh, provides them energy for them to grow. Next is water. Plants need water for photosynthesis. Water also helps move nutrients from the soil into the plant. So, there are, uh, I will just add to it. So, there are fertilizers that you can use, uh, mix it with water. So, uh, uh, yun. So, they produces uh, food for the plant. So, sa fertilizer, it all, uh, water can also help them move the nutrients that it needs from the uh, soil going to the roots. Next is the nutrients. Plants need nutrients to help nourish the plant for a better growth and development. So, where can we get these nutrients? As I've said, we have different types of fertilizer. Uh, you can also use uh, homemade or DIY fertilizer as I've used mine. I always use like eggshell. So if you come here to the Philippines, very familiar now when you go to the province, you can see that uh, there are gardens that are filled with eggshells on the top of the soil. So actually eggshells are really helpful. And banana peel fertilizers, they all provide the uh, the requirement of the plant. So that's NPK. So uh, that's potassium, then uh, nitrogen, then calcium. So all of them, when they mix together, they, they provide a good nutrients for the plants. Lastly is the space to grow. Plants need space so that they can spread out, absorb water and nutrients properly, and they can also access better light. So space to grow. So, even if you have a small garden, you, you only need to plant one vegetable in uh, one pot. So, hindi, kaila, hindi dapat na dalawang kamati sa isang paso. Kasi mag-aagawan sila ng nutrients. One will thrive and one will not. So, for this, uh, you, have, you have to require at least one vegetable plant in one pot. So, uh, para ano, para fair yung pag-receive nila ng proper nutrients. And when uh comes to space to grow, you have to be careful on which pot will you be using. Kasi you cannot just stop into a small pot. Eventually, you'll be repotting them at a, in a bigger pot. 
And how can you repot? Ang repotting po ay at least once a year siya. Hindi siya yung parang after three months, ay parang gusto ko ng another pot kasi kasi gusto ko na ng ibang color. So, hindi po ganun kasi masastress yung plants natin. So, kinakailangan siya i-move lang once a year. Kasi there are instances na pag minook mo siya ng every uh, every three months, masastress yung plants natin. We all know that plants are also living things and they also need some adjustment uh, adjustment time for it. So, you cannot just uh, repot them from one pot to another to another. So, as I've said, you can just repot them once a year. So let's go for our seed planting demonstration. So for seed planting demonstration, I'll be showing you how to plant your uh, seedlings in a seedling tray. So lahat po tayo yung mga gardeners or future gardeners ay nagsasort po tayo magplant sa seedling tray. And why sa seedling tray? Before I start, I would like to explain it kasi uh, me myself, I was wondering before, why cannot, why can I just plant it in the pot instead? So, para dire direction na siya. So, you need to plant them in a seedling tray because uh, sometimes yung pagplant yun ng seeds ay hindi siya pare pareho tumutubo o umuusbong at the same time. There are seeds na hindi siya umuusbong and there are seeds na nung iba tum lumabas na na mga one week then yung iba, it can take at least two to three weeks. So, it depends. So, kung ipa-plant yun siya ng maramihan, for example, three in one pot, yun, mas mahihirapan kayo na i-repot or i-replace i -place sa ibang lugar yung plant kasi lalo na itong mga small plants na to, na galing seeds, they are very fragile. So, once minug nyo siya, we cannot assure na baka ka-survive sila to another pot. So, mas maganda na naka-seedling naka tray tayo and wait for it to mature. And, ayun nga, mas mabilis siya ilipat compared na maramihan mo siya itatanim sa isang pot. Or, if you have a question, if one seed to one pot, pwede din naman siya. Pero, we cannot assure nga na, na tutubo agad siya or tutubo ba talaga. Kasi, some kasi, uh, I have experienced na expired na ng seed ko or yung seed ko pala hindi siya hindi siya nakaka-receive ng proper nutrients sa soil. So, there are many factors kung bakit hindi tumutubo yung soil. So, magsisaving tray na lang ako. At least, I'm sure na at probably one out of six may tutubo, di ba? So, uh, gardening is, just, is uh, trial and error din. So, let's start. Gandang araw, ngayon ay gagawa tayong demonstration kung paano nga magsimulan ang pagkatayunin ng gulay. Pero bago tayo magsimula, tignan muna natin anong pa nga ba ang mga materyales na kinakailangan natin. Ang pinakauna ay ang ating seeding tray. Dito natin ipatanin yung ang buto at dito sila mag-determinate ng 1 to 2 weeks. Next naman ay lupa. As I mentioned sa ating PowerPoint presentation, ang lupa natin ay kinahaluan din ng iba't ibang klase ng pampataba. Mga halimbawa nito ay carbonized rice hole, vermicast, coco peat, dough soil. At tsaka natin siya iyahalo sa garden soil. Pakalawa naman, for safety, ay ang ating garden gloves. Next naman ay ang ating tools, garden tools. So, ito po, ginagamit ko, meron kasi maliliit na version ng garden tools. And ito yung uh, lagi kong ginagamit every time na magtatanim ako sa aking seeding tree. Next naman ay marker, uh, popsicle stick, dahil mamarkan natin kung ano nga ba yung tinanim natin at kung anong date natin siya tinanim para matrack natin kung gaano nga ba siya katagal mag-germinate at kung kailan natin siya pwede ilipat sa separate pot. Just it is too big. So tara, simulan na natin ang pagkatanim. Ngayon na natanim na natin ng ating pechay, eggplant, kale, kampong, at parsley, tatapusin natin ang pagtatanim ng sitaw. Pero bago ang lahat, very important na naglalagyan natin ng pangalan at ng date ang ating mga pananim. 
Dahil una, pa, dahil sa pangalan, para hindi tayo maguluhan kung ano nga ba at saan natin itanamin ang specific seed. Next ay ang date para ma-identify din natin kung gaano nga ba katagal mag-germinate ang isang halaman o buto. Ngayon, tatapusin natin ang pagtatanim ng sitaw na kailangan lamang ng dalawang scoop ng lupa. Okay na po ito. Hindi kasi siya pwede masyadong malalim dahil mahihirapan mag-germinate o lalo na umangat ang seeds natin. Lalagyan lang natin siya sa ibabaw at ibabaon. Okay po natin siya dito. Ibabaon lang at kokodberan po ng lupa. Once matapos na natin siya itanim, pwede na natin ilagay ang ating popsicle stick. Pag natapos na po natin itanim at ilagay ang ating popsicle stick, kinakailangan po natin siyang diligan. Ngayon, natapos na tayo sa ating demonstration, ang mga posibleng katanungan ay tuwing kailan nga ba siya dinidiligan? Dinidiligan ng ating mga pananem uh, isang beses sa isang araw ang pagdidilig at ang um, light po niya ay hindi dapat siya full, full light. Kailangan ay medium light siya. Hindi siya pwede nakatilig sa araw. Kailangan po at least medyo shaded nung kanyang kinalalagyan. At the same time, Pwede naman siya diligan na bird cup pero dahan-dahan lang kasi baka malungod agad ang ating mga seeds. That's why ang ginagamit ko lalo na pag gamit kong babies pa lang ay spray, bottle spray ang ginagamit kong pandilig. Kailan nga ba siya uusbong yung mga halaman natin? Ito pong uh, mga tinanim natin, meron siyang iba't ibang dates uh, kung kailan siya tutubo. Laging pakakatandaan na itong tinanim natin, for example, sa sitaw, meron tayo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, may 6 seeds tayong tinanim sa sitaw at hindi lahat ay uusbong dito. Kasi may mga cases na uh, sa 6 seeds sa tinanim natin, 1 out of 6 lang yung pwedeng uusbong. So, that's why uh, gumagamit tayo ng seedling tray dahil hindi lahat ay tumutubo. Possibly kasi yung seeds natin maaari expired na siya at, at the, or hindi siya compatible dun sa soil or masyado siya naaarawan. Kaya very important na malaman natin na hindi direct sunlight ang ating mga tinanin sa seeding tray. Uh, next is, kailan nga ba siya pwede ilipat? Once na tumubo na ang ating mga pananim, pwede natin siya ilipat after two weeks. So, like this one po, may pananim akong sine, uh, nilipat ko siya sa seedling bag ng after two weeks. Doon siya pwedeng ilipat. Kailan siya pwedeng ilipat sa pot? Uh, at least one month po ang palilipat sa pot. You have to check kasi kung fully established na siya. Some plants kasi hindi siya established kahit one month na. Meaning, Kaya hindi siya established kasi may mga kakulangan pa siya sa health niya. So, maaari yung lupa, yung pagdidilig, or kulang sa fertilizer. So, malalaman nyo kung kailan siya pwede ilipat sa pot is i-check nyo ang stem niya kung matigas na ba siya or at some cases, yung seedling bag nila ay meron na silang mga ugat sa ilalim. And that's the time na itatransfer nyo na siya sa bigger pot. At once na-transfer nyo na sa bigger pot, ang um, quantity lang na pwede itanim na isang gulay ay isang gulay sa isang pot. So, hindi dapat siya itanim ng tabi-tabi as I said a while ago sa presentation dahil mag-aagawan sila ng nutrients ng, na binibigay natin sa kanila. So, very important na dapat sa isang pot, isang gulay lamang ang nakatanim. At sana na nagayahan kayo sa ating demonstration, lalo na ipapakita ko na sa inyo ang aking bagong harvest na Tetshai 
which is nanggaling siya sa mula seeds lang po ito. At ngayon na harvest ko na siya after one and a half month. So, uh, very fulfilling, fulfilling ano na, na nung pinamin mo ay nung, ngayon na inalim mo na siya, pwede mo na siya kainin. Ayan, sana nag-enjoy kayo. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. So, uh, going uh, going back to this video, uh, if you have further questions, you can just I'll just I'll give you my email and my Facebook page as well, so you can share your experiences when it comes to gardening. So, we are finished on how to start your uh, basic gardening strategies and techniques on how to start your own garden at home. Next is we will be talking about essential benefits of gardening to physical and mental health. Uh, honestly, I just started uh, my gardening experience when the pandemic uh, strike. Uh, it, it really helped me most especially with my mental health. I know you guys also experienced some uh, anxiety ngayong uh, pandemic and uh, there are different struggles that you also experience emotionally and mentally na you feel lost and gardening has helped me to, to enlighten or it, it gave me a ter my own therapy you know after a long day you, you you can just stare at your garden or you can just fix your garden it is really relaxing so uh, that's why I really love gardening and I continue to do it and I will continue doing it uh, after pandemic for sure. So let's talk about essential benefits of it. So with physical health, it encourages you to uh, eat healthy. This is very true actually. So when I started planting my own garden, I have different herbs and vegetables. So it is very fulfilling that uh, I can see my uh my own work uh, i mean really come to life so i didn't i didn't really expect na from seed ngayon akainin ko na siya and uh one more thing so yung mga nagsasabi na wala akong green thumb or whatsoever it's not true kasi ako ren may experience this experiences din ako na hindi siya tumubor, hindi siya nagbear ng fruit, bakit ganon? So, as I've said, gardening is a trial and error experience. So, when you have your own food, when you produce your own food at home, it encourages you to eat healthy na, ay, bakit ba ako bibili sa labas? Uh, meron naman ako sariling vegetables and it will, uh, it will not it will not only benefit you but your family as well na wow meron tayong sariling vegetables sa ating bahay hindi lang actually ito nakaka ano encourage sa eating healthy ah nakakatipid din po ito <laughs> so instead na bibili ka pa ng gulay or herbs sa labas meron ka naman sa inyong yung bahay so it's really fun to produce your own or grow your own food at home next is uh boosts air quality so this is very true kasi before, as in, bare lang yung, ano namin, yung uh, balcony namin. Tapos, yung bahay namin, as in, wala talaga siyang plants. Pero, itong nagkaroon na siya ng, ang dami na namin plants, it outdoor and indoor, it is very refreshing. Lalo na paggabi, naramdam na ramdam mo yung simoy ng hangin. Actually, para nga siyang simoy ng Pasko. Kasi, ayun nga, it boosts air, good air quality and it is also good not for you but your family as well. Next is, it promotes exercise. What do I mean by this? So, pag nag-gardening nag ka, hindi mo namamala yung pinagpapawisan ka na kasi, syempre, it requires you, for example, uh, magbubuhat ka ng dupa, kukuha ka ng tubig from outside of your house and going inside your fear house if you don't have a house outside of uh, your home and you're working under the sun so it really exercises you because you move and it's really hot so para ka ring nag ano nag uh, tumakbo ng 1 kilometer so outside of your home so uh, nakakapagod din siya and i believe me so after after uh 
after gardening for 2 to 3 hours. So, ganun po ako katagal, magtagal sa aking harding, lalo na pag masyado ako nakakonsentrate. Pagod na pagod ako at pawis na pawis na ako. So, feeling ko na, nag-exercise na ako sa gym. So, ayun. So, these are some examples for our physical health. Next is for our mental health. It improves our mood. So, as I've said, um, Gardening really helped me improve my mood after a long, tiring day. You can just look at your garden and feel refreshed and fulfilled looking how healthy your plants are. Next is it relieves stress and, and anxiety. Uh, in this pandemic season, so it's, uh, it's really your go-to therapy, actually. So even if there's... Uh, a lot of things going around the world. Uh, you can just look at your plants. I don't know if you get me, but when you just look at your plants, your hard work, you, you put your hard work to it. It's just relaxing. And it also boosts your self-esteem. Like I've said, it takes a lot of patience when it comes to gardening. But when you see how your plants grew or how healthy your plants are, it's, it's just build your positive um positive um uh but how can i say this it's it's like you're uh you're boosting your positive vibes that wow i've done it i wear a fruit out of it it's it's it really boosts your self-esteem like you know once you you've had a healthy plan you can do more about it you can you can learn or you can do more about gardening instead of just focusing on vegetables and herbs. There's a lot to gardening. So it, it really boosts your self-esteem once you've established or once you build a healthy garden. So it is very helpful. So yun. Lalo na pag may healthy garden ka, you can share it with your other friends and families and they can see how healthy your garden is and Probably, actually, most of the time, you can eat, you can also influence them on gardening because it's really uh, influential for me. So I also have neighbors who saw my garden and they also started gardening. As I said, it is not just to boost your self-esteem. It, it, it also improves your mood and your stress and, and, and anxiety. So... Lastly is cultivating students' environmental awareness. All of uh, what's happening in the world, it's very important for us to be aware of what we can do, most especially the youth, because you are the future of our planet Earth and probably your future kids. So would you like your future kids to have an uh, unstable Earth, unstable uh, home? So let's... let's uh, Try to think about it and what can we do to, to prevent uh, any uh, problems that we might face in the future. So one is, what is environmental awareness? So this is the act of being aware of the natural environment and making choices that will benefit rather than hurt the earth. So uh, we must uh, choose some choices. That's what I've been uh, trying to say that we have to make an action Bataman o matanda, we have to make a step. So actually, it's nice that social media really help us. Kasi before, uh, hindi tayo syempre motivated na uh, manood ng TV. So we are, sa panahon ngayon, yung mga millennials, is mas ano sila, mas updated sila sa nakikita nila sa internet, sa Facebook. And they are also, it's not, it's not just being aware eh mas nagiging outspoken sila or opinionated about the different kinds of situations, which is a good thing. So I know that you've also seen some videos or articles about this. So let's check how can we help. So and oh, before that pala, so why is it important? It is important to understand how fragile our environment and importance of how to protect our mother earth and create a brighter a brighter future for our children so uh very important talaga siya kasi kapag tumanda kayo uh, ang makikinabang nito is yung mga future children natin eh 
would you like them to suffer when they grow up? Honestly, uh, this pandemic, mahirap mag-wear ng mask. Uh, hindi ako makatagal ng longer ng three hours inside the mall or outside wearing mask. It is really hard. What more pa kaya sa mga, ano natin, sa mga frontliners natin. So, what I'm trying to say is, what if we have a uh, uh, unhealthy environment in the future that requires us to wear masks every day? Not just us, our kids, the elders. It will be hard for them. As, as you, I know that you experienced this na, Gusto nyo ba maglalakad tayo lagi na naka-mask and facial na walang pandemic kung hindi meron tayong maduming air at hindi tayo makahinga ng maayos? So, what can we do as a youth? So, these are just examples that you you might think na maliit na bagay to pero kung nagsama-sama tayo, malaking tulong to sa ating Mother Earth. So, one is going green at home. So, everything naman, you can start naman this at home. So, when it comes to home is, number one is saving water. So, we have to be cautious kung uh, kailan lang ba natin talaga gagamitin ng tubig at napapatay ba natin ng tubig. So, uh, we have to use it. Kung hindi naman ganun ka-importante nung paggamit ng tubig, wag na natin uh, gamitin or kaya Minsan kasi pag naguhugas tayo ng pinggan, masyadong nakatodo yung tubig natin, pwede naman mahina. So, ayun yung mga some parts ng pwede natin ma-save in when it comes to uh, water saving. So, next is saving electricity. So, most of us kasi hindi tayo naging cautious sa ating pag-use ng uh, electricity. Like for example, aal tayo ng kwarto, hindi pa pala natin napapatay yung ilaw. So, something like that. Or kaya pag aalis tayo ng bahay, you have to check if lahat ba nakatanggal sa saksak or meron pa bang naka-on na appliance. So you have to turn it off. It can it will really save our environment big time if you save your water and electricity at the same time. Next is going green with recycling and reusing. So paper, plastics, glass, and metal materials. So it is better to to give them to junk shops. I don't know if, but I'm sure there are junk shops in Dubai that they can segregate everything in place rather than just throwing it in, uh, in uh, elsewhere, not in a proper area. Next is uh, the water bottles and reusable bottles. So, uh, uh, using reusable bottles is better. So, ito yung mga plastic tumblers or uh, metal tumblers. So, I know that it is uh, much expensive at first, but if you compute it, if you use your, if you always buy bottled waters, mas mapapamahal ka pa instead of just bringing your own water and refill it. So, it can save our environment, it can also save our environment big time and it can lessen the usage of plastic materials. Next is, uh, uh, provides uh, going green with transport. So, going green with transport is, um, examples of this is carpooling. So, these days, uh, sikat na sikat ngayon ang carpooling kasi, uh, syempre, mas mura siya. At the same time, uh, yung carpooling kasi, for example, may car ka. Tapos, yung kasama mo na car ride is may car din. So, so kung hindi kayo magka-carpooling, tatlong cars na yon yung driver na nagka-carpool ikaw at yung kasama mo but if you 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 just uh use uh carpooling for transportation so nakasave na kayo from three cars to one car so that will help a lot that's uh, some examples also i know that this pandemic is no mga moms and dads natin how work from home and ngayon na uh, ang um, uh ang education din natin ay sa bahay lang, it can save you big time because you don't need any transportation uh, vehicles to go to your school or to go elsewhere. So, most of the time, you just stay at home. So, uh, 
I know that you saw some fit, uh, photos or videos how it really cleaned our air with, uh, with lessening of the car vehicles this pandemic. So that's it. Uh, and lastly, yes, I forgot. So when it comes to going green with transport, uh, you can use bicycles and electric scooters. So uh, marami rin ako nakikita na mga kabataan na nahilig din sa pagbibisikleta at electric scooter. So this is much, it is not, uh, it might be, it might cost you at first, but it will definitely benefit you, your health, kasi na-exercise ka. At the same time, you're helping our Mother Earth. So, yan. So, thank you. I hope that you learned a lot from me, Gardenera. And if you have further questions, you can find me at gardenera.mnl at gmail.com. So I hope that you can go green, grow your own foods at home, and uh, and uh, you can also, I forgot to tell you guys, you can also find me at Facebook, so it's Gardenera. At Instagram, it's gardenera.ph. And I also have a YouTube channel, so if you have further questions and you want to watch more of my videos, uh, uh, gardening uh, tutorials, you can find me at YouTube. It's gardenera.mnl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go green and let's grow our own food, guys.